Hello, my eccentric entrepreneurs. This is Taylor Elwood, your business wizard at ImagineYourReality.com. And today I want to talk about the uh, a hard subject to talk about, which is what do you do when you keep encountering blocks in the path of your success? What do you do when you feel like no matter what you do, you're failing in your business? You know, uh, the other day I was in a conversation with someone and she said, you know, I've been, I've been trying for the last a number of years and no matter what I've tried to do I've I've tried you know five different things and it just seems like I keep getting in my own way and I keep I keep failing but I don't know what else to do I just have to keep moving forward and then today I, I read a post where someone said something similar to that effect on the eccentric entrepreneurs group and I thought to myself wow there's a lot of that going on going around right now now maybe it's mercury retrograde I mean supposedly that's occurred right now I don't know you know I, I I'm going to just say kick Mercury retrograde to the curb and let's focus on, on the real issue here. It is hard and it is frustrating to run a business and not have it be successful. And here's the thing, behind every successful person are hours upon hours of blood, sweat, and tear, hours upon hours of failure. No one that I know of who is successful was an overnight success. And if it seems like they were an overnight success, if you talk to them, they'll, they'll hopefully be honest with you and say, no, really, I spent years doing things. And I'm going to use myself as an example. I started my business back in 2008. I didn't know what I wanted to do at first. The first half year, I didn't have clue one. I went from being a wealth and creativity coach to being a, a um, spiritual coach to being a business coach to then settling down and focusing on social media and the only reason I focused on social media was because it seemed like the only thing that people were willing to pay for and then I spent I did that for a couple years and I hated it and then I transitioned into business coaching and I've been doing that for a while now but even that has changed over the years I only now feel like I'm even starting to get some sense of success and even now it's still a struggle in some ways so I'm going to level with all of you. If you want to own a business, here's the harsh reality. It is hard. It is a struggle. You will fail multiple times. And only you can know when you've reached your breaking point and when you've got to quit. There are days you're going to be depressed. There are days I'm depressed. There are days I do not want to work on my business. I get up and I don't want to do the work. And yet, I do it anyway, because I know that if I don't do the work, I'm not going to get anywhere with it. Being an entrepreneur is often a lonely path. It is a hard path. There are times where it feels like you are never going to break through. And then there are other times where some success comes your way, and you're like, yes, things are finally going my way. And it goes your way for a little while, and then all of a sudden, it just, and it's tough. And you're like, well, what happened? Why didn't it work out? What changed? And only you can really, only you can really figure that out. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's where you bring someone like me in, and I help you take a look and figure out. But the point is, is that at some point you got to figure it out. All I can tell you is that what makes anyone successful is persistence. You just have to be willing to persist. You at the same time you've got to be willing to learn. Um, beating your head against the wall is not going to break that wall. It will break your head, and it will hurt. So if you find that you're being you're getting blocked in certain ways, my, here's here's my advice to you. First, look internally. Figure out what is going on within you that may or may not be playing a role. Now maybe there's nothing wrong within you. Maybe maybe you've got the right attitude and everything else. Fair enough. But if you find that there is any part of you that says that you don't deserve to be happy, that you don't deserve to be successful, that you don't deserve to have money, anything along those lines, you have got to deal with that because that will create an inconsistency within you that will show up in your actions. And let me tell you, I have had to deal with multiple issues along those lines over the years. Um, so I, I would say 99% of the time, that is at least going to play a role in why things aren't working. Next, look at what's going on in your business uh, around you. Look at what's going on in, in the economy around you. There may be economic variables that you don't know about um, that are affecting your business. For example, if, if you know people are going through a recession, well, they're going to be less likely to spend money. 
So then you've got to figure out what do I need to change in order to get them back to that place where they feel like they can afford me. If you're um, if you're going and you're 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 spending a fair amount of time working on on certain things in your business and those things aren't producing a lot of results, then maybe you need to look at what what you're working on and whether or not it's really what your clients need. You know, a lot of times I find that people will work on something and it's something they need or something they want or something they think is awesome, but their clients could care less. And the reality is that when you're in a business, you're not in there to serve you. You're in there to serve them. You're in there to serve your clients. So you've got to get them, give them what they want, what they need, even if that's not necessarily what you want and need. Now, if, if it's something that you don't feel passionate about, then my answer to that really is don't continue to do it. Don't give yourself that headache. Don't force yourself to do something you don't feel genuine passion for. Because you've also got to love what you do, in my opinion. And I know some people will say, you know, follow the, the idea of following your bliss doesn't work very well, da, da, da. but I'm going to say something. If you're self-employed, why aren't you doing what you love to do? It's one thing if you're working at a job. There are lots of people who work at jobs they hate or don't like. And what do they do? They, they, they focus their passion on things that they do when they're not working at their job. Maybe it's a hobby or maybe it is a business that they're pursuing. But if you own a business and you're not genuinely thrilled by that business, then walk away from it. I walked away from my social media business. It was, I might add, starting to get to a point where I was starting to see some increases in, in money and all that and everything else. It was starting to work out, but I didn't enjoy it. I hated it, and I didn't want to do it. So I took the, the bold risk of walking away. And maybe that's what you need to do. Now, I'm, I'm sharing this video with you, and I'm, I'm doing it not to, to bring you down or anything, but because I know where you're at. I know the frustration you're feeling. I have felt it. I still feel it sometimes. And my answer to you is really, you just have to persist. You've just got to trust yourself. You know, this last year, I, I went and I took a bold step in a couple different ways. I decided to basically give a giant F you to the convention scene that I was going to and presenting that because I was tired of the inequities that were occurring there when it came to how they treated presenters. And what I also did is I decided that I was going to stop networking because networking wasn't working for me. I wasn't getting any business. No one was referring me. And I decided to change how I approach things. I decided to become the business wizard for eccentric entrepreneurs. This entire year has been an experiment, and some things have failed, and some things have worked. I'm continuing to work with the things that have worked, and I'm continuing to figure out what failed with the things that didn't work, and what do I need to change. And at the end of the day, that's all you can really do. You just have to work your process. And I know it's not easy because there are times where you don't have a lot of money, because there are times where you're sweating, because there are times where you're wondering, what am I going to do? to make things successful. And all I can really say to that is maybe you need to sometimes get a job or if you're fortunate enough to have someone who loves you and believes in you and supports you then make sure you make that person feel really special and support them and love them and take care of them as well because they're helping you do what you want to do. But most of all keep working at it. Don't give up. Keep persisting. Figure out what works and, and work it to the hilt and then figure, and then try some new things and work those to the hilt and don't get attached to your results just just work it and that's my message for you today I love all of you my eccentric entrepreneurs you are dear to me you are important to me and I want you to succeed so please don't give up or if you are ready to give up be gentle with yourself don't don't judge yourself this is not an easy game to play, being a, an, an eccentric entrepreneur or being an entrepreneur, period. But I believe in you, and I know that you can do it.